watching this video because you have a radon issue, I'm guessing. Um, <clears throat> I also had a radon issue. We bought this house in March and it tested at 16 on the scale for radon. So I am going to do a self-install of um, a radon system. I did, I watched a lot of videos, everything I could find information wise. And <clears throat> I think I uh, am going to have a good setup. I will know after it's installed for about two weeks, I'm going to do another radon test. But I'll show you what I did just in case you were wondering. Um, everything, everything that I have here. I bought the fan. That was $120. It's a, it's a kit actually. Um, inline kit for a four inch. Comes with the uh, <clears throat> mercury gauge and everything. And the, uh, the sleeves. It's a four inch. Everything all said and done to do this myself including buying a hole saw uh, four inch pipe is actually four and a half inch um, so I have a little over four hundred dollars in it and I borrowed a five inch hole saw in my basement uh, to, to cut the hole in the floor I will show you that um, if I wouldn't have had to do that I would have probably had another hundred dollars in rental um, rental fees so I probably would have five hundred dollars in this so I have the fan and the uh, brackets and everything. And then I bought 40 feet of this. I ran it into the middle of my basement because there's a set of stairs. I will show you that shortly. And then uh, the switch and everything to go ahead and make it um, outside waterproof switch and box. I'm doing it to code. So it's going to be, it's going to have an outside shutoff. It's going to have its own breaker. Um, and it's all going to be weather sealed. <clears throat> so uh, you can see where it comes out of the side of my house right there. I'm going to cut it off. Um, cut it off and put a 90 on it. And then this piece of pipe onto it. And then the fan. And then it's going to go up another. It's going to be right next to that eave. Um, Per code it has to be over the eve and that is an eve and it will be over it i understand that you might not think that's right but that's how i'm doing it and i feel okay with it but um it's gonna be coming out right right up there i'll show you once i'm done but this is what i'm doing um i think it is going to be sufficient i will know once i do the test if it is not sufficient then uh i will consult an expert but I've got $500 in this and I didn't want to spend $1,500 for a job that I thought I could do myself. We will see uh, all said and done if it, if it works. If it works, great. If it doesn't, then I'll have to go to the next step. But for the most part, I have everything here and uh, we'll see what happens. All right, so here is my practically done uh, setup. It's not completely done because I have to put another uh, 45 and a five foot piece to go over that roof line. Uh, I spoke with my neighbor yesterday. He's certified in this stuff. And he said the reason it has to go over there is because of the soffit. Uh, soffit underneath has holes in it. And that lets airflow up into the attic. Like right there. That lets airflow up into the attic. And the attic actually pulls air up in and then out the top. So if I leave it right there, some some amount of radon is going to end up going up into the house because of those vents. So I'm going to put it above that roof line. That's the only thing that's not done. It is in operation right now. I have a switch mounted on the outside here and it goes into the house and I just uh, foamed that all in with uh, great stuff. It is running. That's a, a wet location switch so it's okay to be outside. I will show you the inside, how it turned out. Uh, it's pulling somewhere near an inch and a half of uh, suction. Uh, I'll show you. All right, now we're down in the basement. This is, I centrally located my uh, suction, floor suction, because I feel like this basement, it's, uh, it's 25 by 40, I think, 24 by 40. Uh, I wanted it to suck out of the middle of the basement so it's not trying to pull air from the whole, you know, from 40 feet away or 25 feet away basically so I centrally located it you could see the pipe goes up 
and then it comes out of this joist here. I had to drop it down and move it over to get it out just simply because um, I couldn't run it straight out because there's a window above where it would have been coming out. But you could see it is pulling an inch and a half of suction with that fan. I put the sticker on. Um, it's in good shape. In about a week, I'm going to do another radon test uh, to see how we are. Hopefully it's better. <clears throat> I wanted this. Another reason I wanted it centrally located is because it was a 16. Uh, this, the radon came back as a 16. Four is uh, four is okay, so it's 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 pretty high. So in a week we'll see um, see where we're at. All right, this is the radon test uh, I got. My local county health department give send will send these out for free. All you have to do. Um, <clears throat> I live in Columbiana County, Ohio, and uh, I had to go online to Columbiana County Health dot gov or something like that. Uh, I just looked it up on Google, and um, this is the test they sent me. It's free. It's completely free. They send it to me. I fill it out and um, send it in, and then they send back the results. So I'm going to need to um, fill fill this out, and then all the instructions are here. It says leave it out for two to five days. Um, so that's going to be my next step. I'm going to fill it out and put it downstairs, and then in, uh, I don't know, in uh, a week or two, two weeks, I'll know how the radon abatement system is working. Since it was at a 16 before, four is I believe four is considered safe. So, we'll see. Or maybe, yeah. As you can see here, the test has come back, and it is now at a 3.2. So, down from 16 to 3.2 and the recommended action is to conduct further testing long-term testing it says that the short-term risks uh, there's a very low short-term risk so I will do another test in about two more months see where we're at um, just to make sure that long-term it stays low but I'm happy with the result um, overall so if this video helps you, please uh, subscribe to my channel because that helps me and I appreciate it. Thanks for watching.